Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Step by Step Tutorials and in this video it's not so much a tutorial, it's there is some tutorial parts in here I'm going to go over with in a second but I was working the um, other day in Unity and I was making a menu for a game I'm working on and I'm like okay and I put it and I was testing out the menu I'm like wow this would look really good as a screensaver um, so I'm like, okay, well, how can I turn this into a screensaver? What steps do I need to do? Well, I looked in the asset store and I looked on the internet and it's just not possible. Now there is a screensaver builder in the asset store. Before you go looking in the asset store, they're like, oh, there is screensaver builder. No, trust me. <laughs> no, it's not. It gives you some cool things, but for the most part, it's not a screensaver builder. It just makes your program act as if it was a screensaver. But... And it doesn't export in an SCR format, which is a screensaver format for those of you who didn't know. So what I set out to do is I code a little bit in Visual Basics or um, .NET. And so I made a program that it will actually run your Unity project or Unity game as a screensaver. So here's Visual Basics.net. You know, it's just standard form. And um, before I start into actually running the program, if you see this box right here, don't worry. Just like it says, just close it out, hit the exit button, and start over again. But you shouldn't see this box. I've only seen it once, and I rectified why I was seeing it. So I went ahead and fixed that. So let's go over to here. And this is where the actual program is saved. And real quick, this is why I said, so um, there's a little bit of tutorial in here. If you don't see the .exe extension or any extension, what you're going to want to do is go into your control panel. <coughs> Make sure you click view by small icons or large icons. As long as it's not in category, because you could still find it in category, but that's how I'm going to do it. That's how I've always done it. And what you're going to do is hit file explorer options. Okay, we can go ahead and exit this. And now we're going to go and we're going to click view. Okay, and you scroll down until you see right there. Hide extensions for known file types. So basically, it knows that's an exe. So it would hide it. And I don't want it to hide it. So just make sure that that checkbox is unchecked. And then hit OK. Who's <coughs> sorry about that. So now that we got our exe there. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, go down to rename, and change exe to scr. And if you have Windows 10, well we're going to hit yes. If you have Windows 10, you notice it'll say on under type, it'll say screensaver. But Windows 10 doesn't give it, it just gives it a blank icon. So don't worry about that. Now what you're going to want to do is right click on it. And go to install. The screensaver window should pop up. And we'll click on settings. And this is what we get. Now this is just to show you how to change this text to where it could be whatever it is you want to put in there for your screensaver. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit done real quick. And we're going to go over to Unity. So I can go over what I'm doing here what I've got going on. Okay, this is the screensaver. This is the skybox, which I built, by the way, if you want a link to the skybox, let me know in the description. Um, not the description, let me know in the comments and I'll put a link in the description to where you can download that. It's really cool and I'll be making a tutorial on how you can make your own. So really, you could just stay and wait. Um, but if you really want this one, like I said, I'll put it in the description. But anyway, this is the, um, the program. Um, the game and I got a game object here which is right there right with my camera and inside of it here is the screensaver builder controls right here this is the one script that he or she actually made that I actually like so basically you know just all that which is nothing special I don't even worry about the setting scene but I put something there just so I won't get an error. 
but it doesn't actually load up. That's what I was talking about. How it's really not that good. I may be doing it wrong, but I doubt it. But I made this monitor script because I have three monitors and every time I would start the program up it would always go to the left monitor. The one all the way to the left. So I had to make it to where it would start up on whatever monitor I picked. Which I picked three because that's my main monitor. Um, I'm working on making it to where you can play it one screen on one program on all three screens. I'm working on that. So that would be up in version two. And then I got my exit script, which basically tells the mouse to hide when it loads and unhide when it closes. Because he did not put that in the script. And one of the things he forgot, I guess. But, with all that said, let's go ahead and we're going to save this. Click building, or just build settings. We're going to go to player settings. And this is if you made your own application and you want to make it a screensaver. One of the things I encourage you to do is where it says display resolution dialog, either put hidden by default or disabled. That way it does not show. Um, that little box that pops up on Unity from when you first start playing, you know, that's what they're talking about and we want to hide that. We don't want it to pop up and we'll hit build and um, we'll just hit build. Okay, this is test run folder. We're just gonna we're gonna delete both those. There we go, and we're gonna name this to test. So I tried to save it as a dot scr file, but it wouldn't let me. And if you notice, it wouldn't it didn't run quite correctly when I hit all. So we're just gonna put dot exe, and it's building. Okay, if you get this error, just hit try again, and it works. It just fixes it for me. Okay, and here's the test data, which is located on my desktop in the test run folder, which is test.exe. So now what we'll do is we'll close that out, minimize that. In screensaver settings, we're going to hit settings. We're going to add our application, which is in test run. test.exe okay and then hit done okay give it a second and then hit preview so we can test it out and there we go I don't know how well you can hear the music um, hopefully it's not reverbing through the microphone but when I go to, you know, the mouse is hidden. And when I go to move the mouse, it closes out the screensaver like it's supposed to. The only thing is, is that um, applications like Ultramon and uh, Display Fusion that like to copy screensavers to each monitor will not work for this. Because what they're actually doing is actually copying the screensaver that you would see in this, like, um, let's go with, like, Mystify. We'll hit preview real quick. Okay. Oh, Windows 10 doesn't do it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, it, they actually copy this picture right here. In And then that's what they use as the screensaver. You know, to copy it on all three monitors. And that won't work if, like, say, this Sky Citadel from um, 3D Painsoft. Yeah. Really good screensavers, by the way. Check them out if you haven't. I'll put a link in the description if you want me to. Just ask. Um, but it's really good, but same thing, because that's a JPEG, or a picture, that's what it puts on all the monitors, so, that's why mine won't work, that's why I'm trying to work on coding it to where it will, it will play on all monitors, you know, at least three, because I have three, so, so we're going to hit apply, and that's pretty much it, you know, that's my screensaver, um, let me know in the comments, and I mean, really, I really want to know. And this is really important to me. Do y'all still use screensavers? Do you use them because you still have an old CRT monitor? And you just don't have a flat screen yet? Um, which I'm interested. If you have a CRT, let me know. Um, or do you use it just because they look really good and they're really nice. And 
you know, like some people use, um, they have a media center computer set up in the living room, and they use the fire screensavers, you know, fire logs and stuff like that as a screensaver, just because it looks really nice, um, because it's pretty. But, if you do use screensavers, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, um, hit me up in the comment section below, or you can send me a private message, it's up to you. Um, I respond to everybody, or at least I try to. If I don't respond to you, I do apologize. Um, I preemptively apologize. <laughs> but, um, this will be uploaded to a website called itch.io, along with some of my other games and applications that I've made. Um, it's going to be for free. I don't, you know, I don't charge for my software. But I do encourage you, though, to support the channel and um, support me actually making this. Like I said, I really want to make it better. And, you know, you can always donate. And there will be a donate thing right there if you feel like you want to donate, you know. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos or you have any questions about past videos that I've made in the past, please hit me up in the comments below. I shall see y'all next time in the next video.